John here guys and today we're talking about HD0, a big news update because last night in the HD0 Facebook group, Carl lets you know all the details that you're going to need to know. So we're going to give you the top five things that you need to know for the upcoming goggle release because with HD0, you do get to know. You do get to know unlike some of those other systems out there. Now, if you haven't been following along, HD0 is the open source technology that's coming out that gives you an HD low latency signal. This is in contrast to the higher quality but higher latency system that DJI and Walksnell gives you but there's so much transparency here you actually get to know all the details before the release now a lot of the stuff with the goggle has been community driven and that's really exciting everybody in this community get to participate get to put ideas forward a lot of times that actually get integrated into the final release one the price it's going to be 5.99 for the goggle and 60 dollars for that analog module bay insert now what that insert does is it'll allow you to just simply clip on and off your module bay like your rapid fire. It also contains a Wi-Fi chip in that little module. So if you did want to broadcast any of your FPV feeds live, you can do it through that. Now the HD0 goggle will have a deinterlacing technology that actually makes analog look way, way better. So if you haven't seen Ryan Cube's video on that, go check it out right here. I'll leave the link for that below. Number two, when manufacturing has already started and it is underway. So we're going to have three different dates to play with. Five sets of the alpha goggles. Alpha goggles means that it's probably in a 3D printed shell just like this one because the files are open source again. So you can download your own files if you wanted to start making antenna mounts or if you just wanted to wear them around for a cool fashion statement. Uh, I see where you're going can do that now. Links for that will be below too. So those are going to have five sets available for multi-GP champs in October. Then there'll be a hundred sets of beta goggles. This is going to be primarily going to reviewers and part of the members of the testing team and other people that have been pre-selected. So just for transparency sake, Carl is letting you know that these people are going to get a 25% discount, but they're not getting a fully finished product. They are paying to beta test. Now, a lot of times we frown upon that with walks now but the difference is walks now didn't let you know they sold you a full price product that was advertised as being complete and it wasn't if they would have told us up front that it was beta buy it if you want to help us test and get it ready that's a little bit of a different story and that's exactly what Carl's doing so anybody who's in that group can make the decision if they want to buy early or wait till it's fully baked. If you're on that early group, you can decide if it's worth it for your time, your schedule, your availability to help them test, or you can just wait and let somebody else do that for you. Three, the overall number, like you said, like we said, there's gonna be five at champs, a hundred of these betas, but when does the next batch come in? When does the batch that you can actually get your hands on? Well, guys, it's going to be working hard. The elves are going to be churning these things out as fast as possible, but we're hoping for a pre-Christmas release. So be sure that you're on Santa's nice list so that he brings you some of these beautiful HD Zero goggles and not a walk snail lump of coal. Retailers may have pre-orders up as early as late November. So before you go cutting into that Thanksgiving turkey, be sure to check here for updates on when the stock is going to be available for you to pre-order. I'll have links, of course, announced for everybody so that you can get them as early as possible. Can't you imagine treating yourself for some Christmas Day HD rips? Well, I want you to do so, so stay tuned. And finally, number five. This is just an overall recap to say that there is other things going on with HD Zero right now. There is new video transmitters being developed. The 90 frame per second camera is going to be at champs as well. That's going to be coming very soon. But be patient, guys, because all the resources in testing, development, manufacturing, communication back and forth is all being shifted. Is all being shifted right now to the goggle. Not everything can move all at once. This isn't a giant company with hundreds of employees. So as soon as the goggle is kind of out the door and in that manufacturing process, then the focus will shift back to the other, the other HD Zero products. So they are all being developed. They are all underway. Just be patient. 
uh, but those are still coming and it's been really cool to see the transparency, the community involvement, how much the community actually drives. You know, people can make a suggestion in the Facebook group and a few weeks later you actually see it in practice. So we've never had this amount of access to the development of a product. So it's truly a product that's tailored to our needs and wants. It was very cool getting to meet and hang out with Carl and Ryan up at International Open. And we will, between myself, Joe Mama, who has uh, become one of the big HD Zero testers, Lamone, who is on the Betaflight team, Grower, who is one of the best track designers out there. We're going to have a set or so of these in town very soon, so stay tuned to this channel and all the other Houston crew channels. With HD Zero, you do get to know, and they can know right now that my money is ready, and I'm ready to put it down, and I'm ready to throw it down on some of this HD Zero. Just to let you guys know, I was offered a Walksnell partnership program membership where I could have received a significant discount um, in order to buy them for testing and review, but then you weren't supposed to disclose that you were a part of that partner program. No, 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 no. That's not how we run things on this channel. That's not how it's gonna go down. You don't get to know I told myself a year or so ago that this channel was large enough that I would insta buy any new system that came out just to be able to cover it for you guys. But I was so disinterested in the Walksnail system that even though I have the money sitting there ready to go, I could have bought it, I still could buy it, I could buy it for a huge discount. I'm just not interested because I'm a hobbyist unlike a lot of the other channels out there. I don't eat off of this channel. My soul eats, my passion eats off of actually enjoying the stuff that I'm doing with FPV. That's why you see some racing content, you see some whoop content, you see the things that I'm actually interested in so that I can show them and be excited with them and not have to fake it. I can't fake that excitement for you guys. I can't fake that enjoyment. It's just, and you can tell the YouTubers that do, that just phone it in every time. It's just disgusting. It's disgusting. And if I were to review walks now, and I'm not saying the system is terrible or bad, I'm just not interested in it. And I can't fake that interestedness for any amount of discount. So I'm willing to pay full price if I need to to get my hands on this HD Zero system. What are your thoughts, guys? It's an exciting time. Three different HD systems. Analog's getting better and better. I'm personally super excited for the improvement in analog because I'm probably going to keep racing 5-inch on analog for a while, but being able to get the best picture out of those analog quads is going to be awesome. Freestyle, micros, whoops. I got this little HD Zero bad boy right here, and I've been sleeping with it under my pillow every night, hoping that the HD Zero fairy is going to leave me a set of goggles in the morning, and I'll just wake up with these on my face. What about you guys? Thanks guys. Have you noticed how lamone has been dropping videos like left and right lately? He's doing a fantastic job. I think he might pass me up, but that's okay because we all need to grow in strength. Houston is essentially gonna be like the Wu-Tang Clan of FPV YouTube channels. So we're gonna keep driving all of each other up. I don't know if that makes me old dirty bastard or, or what, but 